Welcome back to PyWrite YouTube. Today I want to talk about make files. So first, why would you use a make file in a Python project? And see make files as a way to automate various tasks and streamline the development process on your project. So here, as listed by GPT, are some common scenarios like managing dependencies, running tests, building documentation, code formatting, linting, cleanup operations, managing virtual environments, etc. And that gives kind of a good overview of what you can do with those. But I think the main thread is to just make it easier to maintain a project. So let's look at a quick example. So in this YouTube infinite scroll, which is a repo for another video I did here on the channel, which I will link somewhere here, I made a make file because there are various operations you can do. Um, so here's the make file. And I have one for install, which is the creation of the virtual environment, enabling it and installing the requirements. I have one to set up the initial database. I have one to run the app. I have one to use my linters. I have one, one for to check typing, one to run the tests, but then I also break it down in unit and functional tests because there are two types of tests in this project. And I run it to list out my coverage and have an alias called CI that combines lint, typing, and test. So let's look at this locally. I can type make, and if I tap, that's not very helpful. I mean, the help function would rather show the help of the make command, uh, but tap works. Uh, it's intertwined, the options are intertwined with the directory, but I can use complete, so I can run my test. That just aliases to PyTest. Now there is a web driver issue I need to fix, uh, but I can also just call the unit test. I can call coverage. So you already see those are kind of aliases of operations I typically do on this project. So make lint, uh, we'll call flake aid against the YouTube and test directories. There are two violations. And what else? Oh yeah, we had typing as well. So that would call MyPy against the YouTube and test directory. Now again, it's not much more effort than typing out those commands like MyPy YouTube test, but this is a nice way to group all the commands in short aliases, which you can then invoke with the make command. Uh, there are some errors probably related to the external packages for which I would need to do some additional setup. I'm definitely not using make files to its fullest extent. You can also depend commands on each other uh, because I'm actually activating the virtual environment then ampersand to combine a second command and that's probably not the best way to do it. Uh, you, can, you can do that better, but I'm not really leveraging the full syntax. But this works for me. Also for most commands, I just assume that the virtual environment is enabled because if I go into a project, I usually activate the virtual environment first and then I can just rely my tools to be there. What are some options I'm not using? So here the same GPT thread. Um, here's an example of cleaning up temporary files and build artifacts that could be useful. And you can actually produce your own help message like so. Also this uses the Python as a variable. So you can set variables at the start and then reference them like this. So that's a nice way to keep it dry and only to find things once. Lastly, what's the .phony about? That's mostly to avoid conflicts with files that may have the same name as the targets. So if you would have a file called test or lint, then using the .phony disambiguates that. As a best practice, I always just use this syntax of using .phony and then also listing the targets here. A few more examples from other projects. I think they will be mostly the same as I usually copy these over. Emoji searching, so we have setup, lint, typing, coverage. So that's mostly the same. This doesn't show anything new either. And this one is also mostly the same. With the only difference that I use Toxidus project, so that's the one referenced here. So I hope this is helpful. Again, you can include this file at the root of your project, call it make file with an uppercase M, 
define them like this and you and your fellow developers of the project have a more streamlined way to do common operations on your project. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.